that we we did not get a new we didn't get the world's first impacting the moon thing oh well okay so yeah that that we need a bigger rocket do I need to actually configure my engines properly or other and I don't think there are engines that we can use well I mean if we do a Thor heavy maybe we need to do a Thor heavy we could use lithium tanks oh I should make this a high pressure engine hmm yeah do we want to sit through those burns well we have no choice Maybe a different engine instead of the Vanguard engine here, which is actually pretty difficult to control as it gets to orbit. The thrust weight ratio is really high. Maybe I'll put one of my own engines in there. We've got kerosene oxygen. I've got a kerosene oxygen thingy somewhere. This is a kerosene oxygen, 60 kilonewtons. Well, let's try this again. At least it's not very expensive. It's just Cape Cana it's Katniss Cape Canaveral. That's what the mod is called. It's just for the Cape Canaveral area. Will it work? No, it definitely will not work with stock KSP. It requires real solar system. Flickering can happen. I've seen that. Okay, separation. Well, this time it's separated cleanly. Maybe it's something with the Vanguard engine that's peculiar. Okay, ignition. Fairings. All the plumes, all the new plumes seem to need to be moved down. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it'll be an optional pack. But yes, they're intended for RP-2000, yeah. That is the goal. And uh, to... Put generic engines into the RP-2000 tech tree because what happened is Realism Overhaul took all the stock engines and other generic engines and gave them names. Names that, you know, are manufactured by certain manufacturers. So I needed a new collection of generic engines to use that would be placed in the tech tree in place of those as if you were developing the engine, right? Instead of buying it from those manufacturers. Anyway, so yes, that's what the engine is for. And now we will decouple. Might as well get the solar panels out. Will this be any better at getting those thermometer readings? We will see. We still want to be in a polarish orbit. And this will save us an inclination adjustment later. But Will be we be in comms right there? I don't know. Oh, I should have started to burn a long time ago. Talking away. Oh, we need fizz warp. Using a one kill newton thruster in order to make transfers to the moon. This is the way it was meant to be. So again, for those who didn't uh, see earlier, the deal with the new engines that I'm making is that I decided to pull apart other engines that I had already made and give them a unified texture. Oh, Blender is paused. Um, so basically, um, we chop them up and then mix and match in a sort of kit bash way the little parts to make new engines. So I can make a whole lot of engines without it taking a whole lot of space in the RAM, especially texture space. That's the idea. If you would like to propose engines, now's the time. Pentaborane. Well, I guess that'll be a configuration for the hypergox. What I need to do is figure out how to... I know they can do this, but I need to make the engine configs dependent on technology. And I'm sure that can happen, but I need to review how that happens. 
Nuclear Pulse Engine is not going to use these parts, YB. <laughs> Battery stages? What do you mean by that? Oh, the electric trouble pumps. Electric trouble pumps. Huh. I'll make a note of that. That'll have to be a spe special thing. No, no, proposals. This is all proposals. No, the the idea is not to have the real ones, because the real ones are all here. The real engines are all filled in, right? I mean, there are real engines. We need we need engines that uh, young startup will develop, kind of thing. Boy, this is taking a while. We should just go around. Uh oh, we don't have comms. Uh, we should have done that extra satellite contract first. Um, well, we can't change that node right now. Oh, we're in the atmosphere. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I did not foresee this. How did we get in? It was because we kept burning when we were out here. Well, that doesn't help anything. Uh oh. Oh, we got com <laughs> Maybe this little setup is not the best thing. Perhaps a larger engine on that, or maybe multiple engines would make the transfer a little bit better. It wouldn't hurt Delta V that much, would it? Well, that's actually quite a lot, isn't it? Down by 700 meters per second to add four. Ah, uh, but I need a central mounting point for that thing. Uh, 10 minute burn time. That's not too bad. Uh oh. Too many parts? <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh no, not too many parts. Uh, hmm. Oh, right. No, we could take off some of the instruments. Let's skip the barometer. That'll do. We are not landing. We ought to. We ought to try and land. But we're not right now. They haven't given us a landing contract. Maybe we should just do the return from the moon contract instead. <laughs> that might be easier than the temperature scans. They actually have more Delta V than we need for the probe, but... Well, if we gotta put three engines, we might as well use all the Delta V from the launch stage that we can. Again, this is a uh, 60 kilonewton kerosene oxygen engine that gets 320, uh, 320, sorry, 322.7 seconds of ISP 5 ignitions total. So, not a revolutionary engine, but helpful. We're still not using the capacity of this launcher either. That plume, see, I mean, look at this plume. I can't even do real plumes right. How am I gonna do? Waterfall looks even more complicated. No, we'll have to watch out for the periapsis this time. Make sure we don't dip into the atmosphere. Well, we need inclination. And we do not have inclination. But it looks like going south is easier in this case. Okay, well, we're a little bit low, huh? Well, I think we'll have comms at periapsis. Okay. Well, we've got substantially more Delta V to use this time. But can we make it work for us? There's no throttling on these one kilonewton thrusters, though. 
So we'll just RCS. The RCS is not as efficient as the one killing you in thruster, so. That's another thing. Once again, it's a waiting game. For locations to be under our orbit. It looks like that one, those will be the first one, but we have to get pretty darn accurate. Oh, yeah, we've got a position a satellite contract? No, we don't. I guess that's a potential contract. Hmm. But we're not going to do that with this one, so we'll wait. But we could... It's not a very good commsat orbit. It's too low. We'd want a high orbit for commsats. So I don't think it's going to be a very useful thing. We'll give it a go. Now we don't have communication. I thought, well, I guess maybe, well, it's got to make it hard to do a correction. No, see, my problem is sometimes these things float in deceptive places, basically. Hmm. Okay, now we have comms. Like, Depending on how I tilt the camera, the marker seems to be different. I, I wish I could tell what my altitude will be when I'm over here. Well, let's see... We've got nine minutes till we're there. So let's see how much we drop in a minute and then maybe I can tell from that. Well, but it's not linear. <laughs> Does that look like we got pass over it or not? That one. So frustrating. I hate this contract. It looks a little bit north right now. Oh, that now it looks really north. Jeez, these markers. Well, we're gonna have to rescue ourselves pretty quickly. Is it gonna be low enough? We're basically like making a landing here, but... I guess we're... forcing the issue. I thought I activated navigation, but... It doesn't show anything on the nav ball anyway. Well, yeah, I've misjudged this one again. Oh, let's just land. <laughs> I don't think we have enough to land though. Yep, we're not gonna have enough to land, but darn it, I'm gonna get this one thermometer reading. Finally, okay. Well, we sacrificed the probe for this. Okay, collecting survey data. We got that one, but it's doomed again. Well, there's a tiny, tiny chance if we ricochet right. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. No. Uh. Ah. <laughs> We're still in calm. It counts. Totally Soviet.
Transmit day. Only 13.5 signs. Our solar panels are broken. Did we not get a world's first milestone for that? In an orbit. Landed on surface. Okay, we got that. First lunar litho breaking. It's not cheats, it was proper litho breaking. <laughs>